30 let's go out so cool let's see if the sun's out oh the sun is out Huh, kitty cat. What the hell is that? Oh. Meow. Oh, man. I know, buddy. Let's go outside. Let's go pee -pees. Not you, cat. You don't want to go out there. Alright, Newman. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go outside. Oh, yeah. All night. All we hear is thunk, thunk, big thuds. Look at the snow just coming off the roof. Uh huh. Oh yeah. coffee yet and I can tell that this is damn cool. Now it looks like we got uh, oh, at least another six or seven more inches last night because when I called it a day yesterday this was all blacktop and over that deep. Over that. Yeah, maybe six inches. What do you think buddy? Hey, good boy. I got my socks on. My toes are cold now because they're wet. You see my footprints. Wet. Truck. I mean, I'll start the truck. It's been sitting there a few days. <coughs> I don't know, lots of days. Now, they all kind of blend together. It's pretty cool. Dang, I say. Hey, buddy. Get the snow squirrel. Who's a good boy? Oh, you're wet. What are you sticking your head and stuff? He's looking for squirrels in the drain tubes. Or, uh... <coughs> yeah, boy! Drain pipes. Oh, we got some snow on the roof. Hopefully the sun will warm things up. And knock that stuff off. Knock it off! Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. Nothing will probably come of it. You never know. Right? Ooh, look, more sun in the house. Should go get a shovel. Yeah, now we have more light. You know, it's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes from the last video. And, uh, oh, what a cruel twist. I thought we'd have a sunny day. Look, there's the sawmill trailer. You can see the two little humps of tires. That's about all that's left. You can see it hasn't moved since we got up here. Oh, it's just packed. Kind of funny, I locked the door. There's nobody around here. Creatures of habit, right? Turn the GPS is off. Nice cold. Oh yeah, the rear AC is on. Come on, baby. This truck is awesome. No smoke. No nothing. Hell yeah. Truck right there, <laughs> somewhere. So uh, let's do something stupid. Why not? Now this isn't gonna be smart. I already know this. Here's a little cub. Now this is the turn that's gonna be tricky. S turn. Nice and easy, ladies. Nice and slow. A little too fast, you wind. 
change it, wind up in the meadow. And this turn right here. What's up? Tractor's pretty competent, except the problem when you get uh, banks like this on either side of the road, you end up just pushing more snow down the road, and that little guy's not quite heavy enough to really push a good chunk of snow down. Got a snowmobile. I don't need a snowmobile. That's the last thing I need. meadow here is pretty sweet. Except all the snow getting in my door. Oh well. This meadow here is pretty cool. This one would work pretty darn well if you had a snow mobile. So anyhow, as I may or may not have been saying, I forget what I come on now. Um, all I really need to plow is this half mile of blacktop. The rest of the road out to the highway is shared by another neighbor that lives all the way at the end and he lives up here full time and he's got a plow and he plows that main road I don't expect him to plow my road but uh, nice ruts I'm done with the little snow plow I can't really do much on this road here anymore like I said it's just too light to pull uh, to push this much snow around but I can get out that's all I want to be sure of and uh, I will use the plow up by the house though it works really well on that because I can push all the snow off over the edge of the uh, driveway. But I will take you along for the final S turn. I don't want to hit that tree on the right there. It's something huge. I'll take you along for this final S turn because it always keeps things interesting. Be good rats. There's the house. Ain't she pretty with a little bit of snow on the roof? A couple years back, we were up here. On, I was up here on a work trip with a friend, and uh, the snow literally was waist deep on the roof. It caused a section of it to collapse inside the mudroom. <clears throat> and I was up on that roof for well, we were both up on the roof for probably four or five hours, shoveling snow off the roof, lighting the load so I could jack the roof back on this little mudroom here, which is an addition. The original contractor didn't build that. The homeowner built that, and it's not built that well. But enough talk and more slide. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, keep it in four high and see what we can do. Nice and easy on the throttle. Shit, man, off the road. Oh, that's not going to end well. Hmm. Hmm. The road is there, and I'm here. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, this S turn is brutal. Just ridiculous. All right, let me see what I got going here to get this out of here. So I hooked the winch up to the back of the truck. I pulled the ass end of the truck over towards that tree to get me out of that rut. I was up against some rocks. It's not ending well. Uh, I had forward momentum. I shouldn't have stopped it to turn on the freaking camera. I should have done. Huh. Funny. Stop sliding. Now the rear right tire is off the road. I know that. Now they. 
Whew. A little bit of digging, well, a lot of bit of digging, a little bit of winching to get the truck back on the road. Nice and easy. Let's see if we can get up to the house now without sliding back into the meadow. My wheel's pointed, it's just right. Come on. Right, bitches. I swear when I hit the jackpot, I don't play the lottery, so. Holy frick, that's a rock. Oh, crap. So I was gonna say, when I make it rich, I'm gonna friggin' redesign this whole stupid S turd. Now what did I run into? Oh, yeah, look, hit a rock. Hit a rock. In the rocks. Way off the road. Let's see. I gotta reevaluate. I'll be right back. Well, that's a churned up little mess. Good thing, uh, good thing I had the winch in the truck. I fully expect it to get stuck because that S turn is just stupidity in design. It's alright. I gotta see if I can get out of here and. I need to get out of here, so let's put her back in the same spot. No words for wear. Now, it's time for coffee. Let's go down and see the mess I made of the road. Hi, dog. Whoa, easy slick. We are tracking the BF Goodrich mud terrain tire. Look at the tread pattern. Okay, that's just silly. So yeah, as I was saying before I slid off the road for the fourth time, I'm gonna redesign this road. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it. That's one of the areas I went off the road, but it does this steep, what I call the infamous S-turn. Um, quite honestly, I had, a, I had to come across here just as the road comes around. I don't know how well you can see it. Everything's pretty white out here on the back of this screen, but I'd have done a nice gradual slope up this way, straight up here to turn to head back to the truck. But instead, you come down, you make a really tight radius turn here to be on a slope to make a right-handed turn radius down that way, which is just, um, you know, with a long wheelbase like a Suburban, it's treacherous in the summertime, but you add a little snow and ice, shit, you go all the way down to the pavement. Look at, I fell right in Newman's yellow snow. Son of a bitch. Off the road there. Back of my slippers again. My boots were just wet. Probably shouldn't be out in the snow in my slippers. Oh well. Yeah, look, I didn't damage the road there. I was so far into the dirt, I didn't do any, uh, <laughs> any road damage. I'm not even going to walk down there. You know, the other spot there. You see where I had to trek out. To loop a cable around one of my little trees, my little buddy trees that I planted from a seedling or a second year tree I buy in bare root. So I got the winch on the back end and I have a hitch for the front and the wiring for the front. My, ear, my thinking was to put the winch, uh, be able to put it on the front as well. Uh, I just haven't done it. Newman, this video is not about you, pal. But uh, the idea was to be able to put this hitch carrier in the front or back of the truck to pull me whichever direction I needed to go. And, uh, what do you see? What is it? What is it? Go get it. Yeah, so I got the hitch at the house. I just have to put it on. You know, another one of those projects. It's only been sitting there for like three years. The three-wheeler. Can I get over there without getting one? Rip. Oh, Newman. Where does he store up all that pee? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the house, sit in front of the fire. Maybe I'll take a nap. Huh, I'm gonna take a nap. You wanna take a nap, Newman? Look, <laughs> there's the uh, sawmill trailer. Sheesh.